This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's ZapdosTCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we are going to be playing with Tangroad. Tangroad has been a cool archetype with Cosmic Eclipse, but with Sword and Shield we actually uh, get a lot of cards like Quick Ball, we get Ordinary Rod and the Research. So this deck gains a ton of consistency and it's still very fine because the mana is filled with basic Pokemon and Absol ups the retreat cost of the uh, basic Pokemon by one and it's stackable so that's why we're running four Absol and then Grass Knot can then finish off. We have Shrine and even Marshadow to get rid of uh, yeah Stadium cards so that means uh, our Shrine will be in play most of the time even with Chaotix while we have Marshadow we can even reuse it with Ordinary Rod so Shrine is something is going to be very important uh, putting damage counters on every GX think about Mewtwo if Mewtwo has a damage counter, then we can shut it down with Mimikyu. Same goes for the uh, Zero Aura, which is fantastic. We have Mew to spread around some damage counters, but also protects our bench against things like Tag Ball Jacks or Venom Shot or any other sniping mechanic. And then uh, we have eight physical energies. Could be uh, more with, of course, Ordinary Rod if you shuffle two of them back. Rosa is fantastic to get the combo going with sometimes B Buzzwall here can just get the game done. If you use Beast Game GX on something that is already damaged, you can get an additional prize card if you knock it out. So that's gonna be fantastic. I know with Galar Mind this deck comes even more busted, but uh, I think it's good as it is right now. So we'll see if it's still good. We have a lot of one prize decks we already covered on the channel. Think about Nozzle Raichu. Uh, Behem, uh, Baby Blacephalon is not too rook, but we also covered uh, Quagnax, so there's a lot of one price decks that uh, are still a ton of fun, so you don't actually need those fancy GXs. Probably up against ADP. Against ADP, ADP does have a huge retreat cost, uh, I think 3. Uh, we won the coin flip, so we're gonna go first. Cool uh, Fion car uh, coin, or where is it? Manaphy? Should uh, be checking that out. Uh, we start with uh, a horrible starter, Mimikyu. We already have a Shrine, Netball, so at least we can get a Tangela up and rolling. Here we go, Tangela. Don't uh, sleep on Tangle Drag as well. This can actually uh, trap opponents if they don't have enough switches. Smacking this down. I'm actually gonna use uh, the Escape Board immediately. Or do we wait? Could draw a physical copy of Switch. The reason why I'm doing this is that I'm probably afraid of Lysander Labs, but I don't think this list will run Lysander Labs, so maybe could run Absol as well. Hmm, will he have Fion? Probably gonna f I don't think he's gonna Fion, he's just gonna go for a quick ball and uh, finding himself... Hmm, he needs Fion and Absol if uh, the, the board position is like this. Here's ADP, are we scared? Not really. Big Charm, mm, getting a little bit more scared. The skateboard on the station and then the switch and will it be a research? Wow, that's a heavy turn. He can use, even use uh, Interpret Sword now, and uh, we are gonna be in a disadvantage. The opponent is already going crazy. Hey, hopefully he whips on Energy Spinner or Water Energy. That will be good for us. The Shrine is taking in some damage on ADP though. Here we have it. Tank Road, ta -ta. we can Marnie, so his options are slim. So maybe he whips the Water Energy, let's do that. Come on, we actually need to find some resources of our own. We do have Great Catcher. All right, let's get it done. Smacking some damage around. I know it's not a lot, but the, the next damage output will be higher if we find some Absols. The Shrine is also ticking in. Maybe he whiffs on the Water Energy. Even if he uses the Water Energy, we can still knock him out. Okay, Quick Ball. Probably gonna see the Dene now. Oranguru? Okay, no Dene. Maybe he has the Dene in the hand. Maybe we martyred him into a Dene. Okay, Quick Ball. Now we're gonna see the Dene. Okay, we really need to find a ton of Absols in order for us to work it out. Zation has a 2 retreat cost, so Shrine also doesn't take damage here. Okay, Crushing Hammers, what is this? Metal Saucer. Okay, is he leaving us as dispense? Let's hope he whips on the Water Energy or Energy Spinner or Aurora Energy. Don't even know what he's playing. Okay, he whips on that energy. That's huge news for us. So the Marnie paid off for us successfully. Okay, he just uses Interpret Sword and the, the ADP is just getting damaged. More, da more and more damage every single time. Gonna go for a Netball. 
and we will find another Tangled Dragger. Yeah, that's good. We're gonna give him an escape board, otherwise we have to throw it away. And here it comes, research. Come on, Absols, where you are, where are you at? Okay, we have a Quick Ball, so at least we have one Absol. We're gonna get rid of Marshadow. Now, Marshadow will help us out a lot, so I think I will be getting rid of... Recent Stamp is also very powerful, but we're gonna use Research later, so might as well get rid of the discard. Here comes the first Absol. There's a lot of them in the deck, but unfortunately, they do not pop up. Uh, smacking a, a dado as well. And here comes the Grass Knot. Four more damage. Poof, 130. Okay. The damage is still spreading. The good news is that, uh, yeah, this guy has two, 310 HP. So the Shrine has to be in play for a couple of more turns. Will he use Alter Creation Jax? He should use Alter Creation Jax. Otherwise, things could go wrong very quickly for him. Can we... Are we able to, uh, let's say we have four Absol in play. That's a retreat cost of six. Six, that's not enough. That is not enough. Research, getting rid of lots of resources. How many switch cards in this card? Only one. That gives me a little bit of a headache. <laughs> we can, of course, punish the Denny. We still have a great catcher. So I would have loved that this uh, ADP would have been knocked out already. Don't have Lysander Labs, unfortunately. Yeah, in this scenario, we just need an energy. Probably gonna knock it out anyhow. And yeah, we need more absoles. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Another one of the Tangles. Actually, Tang. Let's go with this. Smacking down another absol. We have Rosa, so that could actually be a very nice help. Grass now. 160 damage and we get three prize cards in the process he only needs to KO three Pokemon which is the scary part about this okay probably has switch in the hand otherwise he would have not promoted Jirachi how many metal saucers in the discard pile one only one four energies in the discard though yeah we just need to make sure that the Zacian goes down then we should be out of the woodworks. The bad news is we have to two-shot it. The good news is, yeah, yeah he's gonna <laughs> Marnius. us. Scary. Another physical switch going down the drain. We cannot use the Tangle Drag strategy here because he has two physical switches left. Okay. At least Tangro took down an ADP, right? Here comes the Marnie. If it wasn't for like the uh, big charm, things would have been much smoother. Ta -ta -ta -ta. We got another shrine, another Absol even. It's not a terrible hand, if I say so myself. Okay, Metal Saucer is uh, setting up the other one. Okay, he concedes. He is not able to attack. Doesn't find a physical uh, metal energy. He had to go deeply into his deck. So Tangrode take this victory uh, on uh, ADP, which is fantastic. So we did not even know that uh, we would be so successful with the uh, Tangrode. So we're going to try it out once more. Hopefully we come across another metal deck. Maybe Picaram. Picaram does have a huge retreat cost. I think it has a three retreat cost. So uh, that will help us out to one shot or actually two shot it, which is some shrine damages here and there. Fire Lightning Carlos. Baby Blounce or Reshizard? Okay, the opponent goes first. I don't even know what we're up against, but we have our good friend Jirachi by our side. Quick Ball. We'll, we'll see how it goes. And we have Shrine to overlap any stadium in town. So what is it? It is the Danny start. Wow. Still don't know what you're playing. I know the Lightning type was, of course, the Danny. Great Ball. Ooh, who's running Great Ball? McCargo. Okay, it's a McCargo deck. McCargo, does it have a huge retreat cost? It's not a basic, unfortunately, but I think it does have a tree retreat cost. Quick Ball. If we use Absol, he also is not going to be able to get this out of the active position. Probably running Air Balloons and McCargo. Could be wrong, though. Maybe just physical copies of Switch. Quick Ball. There's a Slugma. Cool. Slugma has a tree retreat cost, insane. 
Okay, at this point, we need to find Pokemon. What are we gonna do? Rosa gets us the energy immediately if he gets a KO. I'm gonna go for a Stellar Wish first, see what we get. We get a Netball. And even a Cynthia. I think Cynthia at this point is probably better. I think Research is even better than that. Yeah, going for a good old Research. That's why we're running it, having it on the first turn. Smacking this down, communication, this away. Finding ourselves Tangela. This list probably only runs Great Catcher, so we're kind of safe with that. I'm also gonna grab myself. Probably gonna run into Absol anyhow, but I think it's fine getting another Absol here. Attach of the turn, and here comes the research. The Den is still stuck in the active. Mm hmm. Good Smackdown Ditto, or maybe more Absols. Hmm. I'm gonna use communication, getting the Ditto away, finding ourselves another Absol. Also, the uh, Shadow Box can actually shut down the uh, ability of McCargo, which can help in the long run. So we're hanging on to that Quick Ball just yet. And getting, of course, a Tangela again. So this is not a bad start. The, the Danny has a 3 Retreat cost. I love the fact that he has a 3 Retreat cost. We can safely switch to uh, Marsh Shadow. We do have a switch in hand, so... If he gets the KO, he could just KOs the Marsh Shadow. The Danny is stuck. Even with an air balloon, he's not getting anywhere. Okay. Now we need to smack down Shrine as fast as possible and also smack down the Mimikyu. Mimikyu is in the deck, which is fantastic to hear. Probably gonna get out another Dedene. That's good for us. Okay, there's an Oranguru. The Dedene is still stuck and he's gonna rely on Oranguru. Okay, research. Wow. Good. Probably gonna see Makargo. Uh, he attached it up the turn, he can use the ability. But the Denny is still stuck in the active, so that's fine. We're also gonna Marnie him to a low hand size. Well, we can get... Switch to Jirachi, finding ourselves the good friend Tangrode. And the Shrine will actually knock out the Denny after we smacked into it once. Crushing Charge. Gets an energy. This guy already has a tree or treat cost, so I do love the fact that it's the case. Great ball. Cool. The Danny will be stuck, which is something we adore. So we switch to Jirachi. We don't have uh, anything, so we're gonna go for Marnie, saving that reset stamp and all that. Here comes the Tang Road. We have two of them. With this hand, we have two of them. Might as well use Stellar Wish again. Another Marnie. Since that's probably better. This gets us an energy. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Marnie for now. Yeah. Let's go. Tang Road. Retreat. Could get another Tang Road up and rolling. Probably should do that. Putting him to a low hand size means he is whiffing on stuff like Welder. Not gonna showcase that. Just gonna show the card he already seen. Is it is Ditto. Communication. Did not find the, the Shrine of Punishment though. But we did get another Tang Road, so we have two of them now. Look at that. Smacking damage. Bam! He's still stuck in the active though, so he needs physical copies of Switch. Also, after three turns, if we survive for three turns, this the Danny will be knocked out if we find a Shrine of Punishment. If we get knocked out, we have Stellar Wish and Marnie, so that gives us six cards in total. We'll find a couple of good ones there. Smooth over. Yeah, probably gonna use the combo with Oranguru to find a switch card. The good news is that then I will see the discard pile soon with the Shrine. Taking us uh, to two prize cards. This deck does not run any healing, which is good. Good for us. Also, we can uh, win by uh, trapping the opponent as well. How many physical switches does this deck run? Here comes the Welder. Well deserved. The Welder deserved. <laughs> okay. Just need to go after two prizes. It's fine. How many shrines? Zero in the discard. I love those odds. 
Lava Flow. He still needs to discard an energy. Yep, there we go. He gets a prize card. He takes the first prize card. It's fine. We are a one prize deck. We know what to do. We can actually make sure that this guy cannot use Lava Flow. Huh, interesting. I think I'm gonna just Marnie. Probably will need another Tangela. Here's the Shrine, okay. Shrine of Punishment will pop up. We have a research, another one. We already have one in the hand, so I'm not gonna take that one. And we will put down Shrine using the Ordinary Rod, getting back the Tang Road line, as well as an energy. Retreat. Yeah, this is not looking good. We don't have another uh, tank road ready, unfortunately. Good news is the shrine is already starting to put in some damage. Probably gonna overlap it right now. Yeah, there he goes. I'm just gonna check a cargo list. How many switches does a cargo list run? Hmm. Typically, I don't know. I really don't know. Cargo. Okay, promoting Jirachi first. Mm, yeah, we have an ball, that's good. Finding ourselves the Tangled Dragger. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go crazy. We just need to find as many cards as possible. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is using Great Catcher on McCargo. Yeah, he can then still put Welder on top, right? And draw it out with this. Does he have energies? Mm-hmm. Okay, quick ball, getting rid of this. I'm gonna get myself the Mimikyu in play. Next up, Nutball, finding ourselves. Energy, Tangle Drag will be amazing to use. Oh boy, Stellarish. Shrine, that's what we want. How many physical copies of Switch does a McCargo list run? Two of them. Still need to figure that out. We can Tangle Drag. Or use Great Catcher in this scenario. Yeah. On the Denny once more. <laughs> Leaving that guy stuck. And energy over here. I think that should be good. He could have like switches on top. He knocks out this guy. We can tangle drag again. I think we're gonna go for the tangle drag strategy. There we go. Switches. Only two. Okay. Only two switches at most. So maybe one is prized. How many stadium cards though? Two giant hearts, okay, that's fine. We overlap that. And with Mimikyu, these abilities don't activate, so they cannot use Crushing Charge to charge up. They will need physical copies of Welder, as well as energies in the hand. Smooth over combo still works though. We have Rosa. If he switches, we Tangle Drag it again. Maybe this guy. And then let's try and do all the damage. Good work. Switch, okay, he finds the switch. It's going on the offensive again. He can also welder. Yeah, he can also welder. Okay. Shrine is doing a lot of damage, which is fine. Okay, we can actually knock this guy out and then he will sometime also see the discard pile soon. 
Tangle Drag. We can actually do that. Okay, let's see. Getting a prize card there should be fine, right? Tang Road. Energy. We don't have a lot of resources anymore. Don't have a lot. Trainer card. Great catcher. Leaving this guy stuck is not good. Tangle Dragon. Tangle Dragon Orangaroo with a 4 treat cost. How about that? Absol. Yeah, he could overlap. We only have like a little limited amount of time. So I'm gonna actually knock him out. Yeah. While also using the reset stamp. Stamping him to three cards. And maybe some of these guys get knocked out. So I think I'm just gonna attach to... Uh, to the Mimikyu, why not? And here goes Grass now. Okay, we got two prize cards. He has no energies in play whatsoever. Yeah, Shrine, that's good. That's very good. Okay, we still have a shot. We just have to tangle drag this Oranguru and just let the Shrine do the rest of the job. Six energies in the discard pile as well as a Fire Crystal. The ability is not being able to get... Uh, yeah, he's not being able to get use out of that ability. Research it is. Smooth over. Okay, we still have a great catcher in the deck, so that's fine. He's probably searching for his giant heart. Could be prized, but we overlap it immediately. So the Danny will give us two prize cards, and then we just have to go after this Macargo. Sooner or later. Very close games with Tangroad, nonetheless. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Primate Wisdom. The good, good combo with Smooth Over and Primate Wisdom. Fantastic. Does he know what he's doing? Getting the Giant Heart? Great ball. Maybe it's priced. It could be priced. Giant Hearts in the discard pile. One. Two switches. That's good. Ooh, he can play Nine Tails to just uh, leave us stuck in the active. Okay. At this point. He's gonna knock us out. We still have shots. How many switches do we have left? One switch, one board. And the research, we know that. Okay, let's go. Grass knock. 100 damage. And the shrine is going to get ourselves the two prize cards from the Dedenne. Energy and Buzzmosa. Oh wow, this Buzzmosa can actually take an additional prize card on McCargo. With Beast Game GX, we only need to find like uh, research and uh, a way to get Jirachi out of the active position. Just need to find our great catcher. Here come the welders. We don't have an attack already. Oh boy, very close game. We don't have an attacker. Mimikyu can dash out 20 damage, not enough. But he for he's forgetting we have Buzzmosa. Yeah, we can simply retreat our Mimikyu. The Shrine is going to tick in the damage. We have Shrine. We have everything in hand. He's, if he doesn't play a Reset Stamp, we win. We already have Jirachi for our Reset Stamp protection, but still. Ninetales? Yeah. Lava Flow. Yeah, we win. We win. Fantastic. So, uh, Tangro taking, is going to take the victory thanks to Buzz Mosa of all things. Yeah, 50 damage for single energy sometimes can do the trick. Well played. We have Buzzmosa, Energy, Retreat. Now we are gonna smack some serious amount of damage with Beast Game GX. Bam! That's how Tangro gets the job done. We won against ADP, we won against McCargo. Definitely check this deck list out. You could improve it even further with Galar Mine. Galar Mine works also on evolution Pokemon, so maybe we can scratch like some of the shrines for Galar Mines. Definitely a great deck to consider if you wanted to have some fun with a one prize deck that is very uh, good. Anyhow, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.